and this is the first set of dates the next one is connected with the shipments so I will pick some lines I will take white line with Athen desks with a quantity of one we don't have it on the stock but anyway I will show you how to deal with the dates here is the requested delivery dates this is both in the header and also in the lines if you cannot see the requested delivery date you can sh choose columns requested delivery date I will move it up next to other dates and the deal is when you update requested delivery date in the header system will also update all the lines I will just open it again it's 1016 your order number so now we have requested delivery date so I will put the first of of April as our requested delivery date by this date our customer re requests to all the items will be ready in his warehouse okay so system wants to update the lines the reason for duplicating those dates in lines is that you can have different request dates for different items in the line okay so based on some settings system is calculating the dates so shipment date is the date that we need to have the item on our stock why there's a difference between the requested delivery date and the shipment date because we have some rules and some periods we need to obey for example in our case we have outbound warehouse handling time for 10 days so I can check it in inventory setup also so we need 10 days for preparing our items inventory setup here it is so for all company unbound warehouse entries we have handling time of 10 days of course this is too much this is only an example if we want to connect it with location you can also put it on location card here it is so in our case we have additional 10 days to items be prepared by our warehouse we have also five days five additional days of shipping time the shipping time is connected with our customer so when we go to our customer card you will find the shipping time so the time the items needs to be needs to have to be shipped this is as a default we can also use agents and agent services and we will also have some shipping time updated this is also default values on customer you can easily change it in the order anytime you change some values with the time the system is asking you about some changes in the dates in the lines so we change the shipping time for two days and now we need to have our items on the 20th because we need 10 days for preparing and two additional days for our delivery 
So to meet planned delivery date, which is the final date and the same as requested delivery date, we need to have our shipment ready for the 20th of March. You can also use promised delivery date, which is stronger than requested when you use both. So if we decide to change the date for, for the beginning of the March, because we promised that to our customer, system will update all the dates according to promised delivery dates using the same rules in the order. Of course, those values, as I said before, can be changed in particular order. So we can change it to one for this time and system will also recalculate the lines.